Welcome everybody. I've got Luke Schulte, Ohio agronomist with me. I'm Austin Scott, field agronomist down south. Uh, Luke, tell me a little bit about the plot we're in right now. Yeah, so in this plot, what we're trying to evaluate is both burn down as well as residual components. So obviously you can see there's no crop planted. So we're looking at the effects of different combinations of product, whether it be growth regulators, whether it be uh, PPO herbicides like Sharpen, and what we could get from synergisms between some, some of those gamoxone metrics and combinations, and then the added benefit to a residual component. All right, Luke, so what weeds are we really targeting in a burn down situation? Yeah, so in a burn down situation, we're really looking for how do we get control of those early emerging summer annuals as well as those winter annuals. So I think about weeds like mare's tail. Mare's tail is pretty problematic in a lot of our areas. But then also, I'm from Ohio, so in a lot of areas of Ohio, we struggle with that earliest, or one of the earliest emerging uh, summer annuals like giant ragweed. With some of the new technologies that are on the market today, uh, you know, are in list specifically is a, is a great opportunity to, to combine some of those burn down and residual options. Uh, some of the plots we've got right here behind us uh, are specifically looking at taking uh, Enlist as, as one of the, the examples, but seeing how what kind of mare's tail control we get. So one of the plots that was really indicative of, of good control to me was the Enlist One plus Liberty plot. Uh, we took Enlist One, tank mixed it with Liberty, had two really good herbicides for mare's tail control, and we were actually able to melt that mare's tail down. Now, if we take a step back there and look at Enlist One plus glyphosate, uh, it didn't go quite as uh, as planned. Uh, tell us a little bit about that, Luke. No, and what, what Austin's referring to, it didn't go quite as well as we wanted specifically on mare's tail. Yeah, we right. saw a lot better efficacy when it comes to mare's tail control with Enlist One Plus Liberty. And when it come to some of your summer annuals, the state flower of Ohio, uh, state tree of Ohio, uh, giant ragweed, we did we still did very well with that uh, Enlist One glyphosate molecule as well. Absolutely. So when I think of, of mare's tail control or giant ragweed control, obviously I'm from the south, so we don't have nearly as much ragweed to deal with. Mare's tail is always, a, always a, a, a big target weed for us though. I'm thinking of just a few chemicals on, on really good control. So the, the Enlist 2,4-D component is always one I like to add in. Uh, Liberty does an excellent job on mare's tail if you get the right weather to, to support the kill. Uh, Sharpen is one that, that does an excellent job on controlling mare's tail and providing some of that residual we were talking about. Uh, then another one that really stands out to me, and Luke alluded to it earlier, is Gramoxone plus Metribuzin. So we start the, the synergism conversation there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we, we start looking at a Photosystem 1 and a Photosystem 2 inhibitor uh, that synergize really good together. So those are my, my just pure burn down with some residual uh, aspects into it. Now, Luke, if you, if you think about that, uh, what else are you going to add? Because we're wanting to combine burn down and residual, right? Some of these plots that we're going to showcase here uh, don't have that residual component with it. We've got an excellent burn down, but no residual, right? What are some of those residual products that, that we could actually add in there? Yeah, so Austin hit on, in a lot of our treatments, sometimes we don't get the opportunity to apply an early burn down and a residual later because we got to get to go to the field and we know early planting soybeans pay. So we're combining that treatment into a burn down and a residual. So Austin hit on some of those components that work good from a burn down standpoint. And in this study, we're looking at lots and lots of different combinations. Many different PPO herbicides like a Valor XLT is within here. Austin mentioned Sharpen. Sharpen gives you some uh, residual, a lot of burn down, lots of different components. Where we're standing here is a good example of what a burn down can look like, but then just behind us, we have a burn down plus residual. That's still pretty clean, even in the absence of a competitive crop. So when we start thinking of those weeds, uh, we need a burn down, we need residual. Maintain, uh, I guess my comment to you would be to focus on the weeds you deal with. Luke deals with ragweed, I do not. So it's not a concern of mine, it's not a target weed. You can see behind us, we've got a lot of cuckleburr that started emerging after that burn down wore off. Uh, we got a lot of water hemp that emerged after that burn down wore off. So that's where your residual really needs to be targeted to the weeds in your field. All right, I deal with a lot of Palmer amaranth and water hemp, so I'm gonna use something that targets small seeded broadleafs. Uh, if you're dealing with morning glory and, and some other large seeded things, choose a, a herbicide residual that targets large seeded broadleafs. Uh, the whole goal of this plot is really to, to see what we can do to combine burn down and residual, starting with a strong foundation and then moving into that seasonal approach. Thank you.
Thank you.